Hello everyone and welcome back. I haven't published in a while on YouTube, so here I am again to announce my game framework, Aerial 3D. Now I'm gonna run you down through this. This is like a prototype, but I do have a domain up for this. Um, I will show it on the screen right now and it's gonna be in the description. Nothing is up, but uh, just keep an eye out. It'll be probably up soon. Anyway, so I'm going to run you through how to use Arial 3D uh, so far. I mean, I don't have that much inside of the framework. So, I'm going to run you down. Here we are on IntelliJ. I have the package for Arial 3D containing everything. And um, I will compile this into a jar and serve it fresh on the website or a GitHub link in the description. Anyway, uh... Let's make a new file or a new class and we'll call it the main. And all right, there we go. So let's uh, start making a window. I just have to make the main method. All right, that's the main method. All right, let's uh, start. So first we have to import some stuff so we're going to import net dot aerial 3d dot window and we're also going to import actually let's just import everything in aerial 3d there we go okay so let's uh get a window up so uh, I'm going to make a new vector 2 and we'll call it window size equals new vector 2 and we'll put in the two sizes. So let's make a 400 by 400 window. And now let's make a Let's set some things, so uh, window, oh yeah, we have to make, let's take this, cut it, put it inside of the class to make this a public global for this file, or this uh, class, and uh, let's also make a window instance, or an object, window, window equals new window, all right. So I would just move this into the method and remove the access modifier if you did add one. So we're going to do window set dimensions, set window dimensions, and we're going to pass in the window size, our vector 2. Let's do a window dot set window screen color, and we'll also have to import a net dot aerial 3d dot color and now we can do color dot any color so let's make it yellow and we can go ahead and do window dot forge and this should run let's add a configuration a application main class is going to be main and apply. Let's run. This framework is made with a lightweight Java game library, which is like a OpenGL graphics library. We need to call window dot color initialize, and we also are gonna make. Let's import net dot aerial three D dot RGB color, which is basically a vector but for RGB. So let's make a RGB color, RGB equal to new RGB color. And we'll set these parameters to a custom color. So I'm just gonna do all zeros for red, green, and blue. And then alpha is one. And then we pass in RGB. There we are. Okay, it's working. So I had to run color in it, but it had some useless parameters 
and I deleted them. So basically what's happening here is that why this RGB color is not being in use or you know not being used is because we're defining the color here as yellow. If we set this to custom it will revert to any RGB color data type that you're using. So if we run this now it should be, I'm sure this is black. Yep, okay, yeah. Okay, so we have some more ways to set uh, colors and other things. So let's, uh, as you could see when I run the program, the window. All right, so it's called Arial 3D Window, which is the default window name. So we can just do set window title and give it a string and let's call it hello world and now that we run this again it's called hello world so that's all the functions for this we also do have a game loop which i can run let's do a rundown this is window getting a new window class uh... defining the size of the window uh... what color we should use if this is custom the name and uh, the passing in the custom color and then window.forge is basically taking all of this, all of these values and putting them to use, making the window. I do have a game loop over here inside of the Arial 3D which you can edit. I'm going to uncomment those and now we can see the console going berserk and now it's running so basically this is intended to run all over again to check logic and other things like poll events alright uh, this has been an overview there's probably going to be some more devlogs later and I'll see you guys later goodbye links in the description for everything maybe